Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna solve a very important question. It's a question that haunted me for many, many years and was always in the back of my head, even though I didn't realize it. So that was my biggest money blueprint mistake. So I'm gonna solve the question. Can you believe in God and still be rich? Stay tuned. So I'm going to start out what passage in the Bible influenced me the most was always in the back of my mind, not consciously, but unconsciously. And that stopped me from getting rich. Of course, you have different kinds of rich people. You have greedy rich and you have rich who give so much back to the world. So actually, there are a few instructions if you want to get rich and if you want to get in the kingdom of heaven you have to be in the ladder you have to give back in order to receive more so what stopped me was this verse it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God and I was like oh so God doesn't want me to be rich so if I do my best and I become rich even if I give everything or most of my riches away and do good in this world I can still not get into heaven so I'm like yeah then I should never be rich then I should never be rich. And I know that many religious people think the same way. But you have to know one thing. The Bible is much larger than we know it today. It's the Vatican. It's the Pope. It is people who decided what should be in the Bible and what shouldn't be in the Bible. So, if God says, go and reproduce make many children but then when the church says you have to remain celibate i was immediately like but god said to go and have children and if you're a priest you should you should be the most holy of men most holy of people so especially the most holy of men should get many children right so God doesn't say to remain celibate. It is man. It is the Vatican. It is the Pope who says that you have to remain celibate as a priest. In Christianity, of course, this is so wrong. It looks to be more about power. Like all the riches that the Vatican has. Why don't they give it to the people? Because God says you have to give back. Give to the people in need. I think if Jesus would be alive today he would say that our spiritual that our religious leaders are hypocrites they're in their big buildings while other people suffer so i thought i would i would be in big trouble i felt like i could give more to people if i would be rich i could be if you have a good heart like you can do more with money then if you have nothing if you have nothing then you have to spend your time helping people but you have if you have money you can do more so i was always like this is not logical but possibly jesus might have been talking about something really different the aramaic word for rope camelon was almost identical to the greek word for camel camelon which appears in the verse some scholars say that the word was misspelled and so Jesus may have been making an analogy to treading a thick rope through the eye of the needle, not a large animal. So he may have been referring to something extremely difficult but not impossible. Now we're getting somewhere. Two thirds of Jesus' parables are about money. So a parable that is the total opposite of this saying is the parable of the talents so it tells of a master leaving his house and he entrusted his property to his servants so 
Each man received talents. One servant received five, the second received two, and the third received one. So the master gives them his talents. Upon returning, the master asks the three servants what they did with their talents, with the talents he entrusted to them. The first and the second servants explain that they put their talents to work and they doubled the value of their talents, the value of the property with which they were entrusted. The Lord said unto them, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. But the third servant has hidden his talent. So he gave back the one talent he got and he was punished by his master. In Matthew 25, we read, Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid my talent in the earth. The Lord answered and said unto them, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sowed not and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which had ten talents. For unto everyone that had shall be given. And he shall have abundance, but from him that had not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So this is the total opposite. So Jesus gives you talents. Why does he give you talents? Use them. What are you good at? But use it for good in almost every culture. There are sayings, the more you give, the more you will receive. What you don't realize is that money is energy, all right? You choose what to do with it, good or evil. If you will do evil with it, there is a karmic law and you will be a magnet for evil. If you do good with it, good shall come to you. You do bad bad will come to you. So do you want that the good comes in abundance or the bad? But there is also a law, the law of tithing. Let me ask you, how can you do the most good if you have no money or if you have a lot of money? If you have a lot of money, you can get people out of poverty. You can create schools. You can build anything you want. You can clean up the oceans of plastic. You can preserve the forests the few remaining forests that we have and stuff like that. Everyone is different. Everyone has another mission, even though the mission is love. That's the same mission, but everyone should do what they believe is right. So what is tithing? Tithing is giving away 10% of everything you shall receive. 10% of your income if you're already saying oh 10 percent is too much there is something wrong you will not get the riches that you want that you desire because if god or the universe you don't have to call it god or the universe we all believe in something for one person it is god for for the other it's the universe or something in uh, something of a higher power so if you get riches and you sit on them and you don't do any good you only do good for yourself. The Lord or the universe will take it away. So even though they say that in current times it is not necessary anymore, I believe that you should do it. You should give back. If you make other people rich, you will become rich in the process. You will become rich when you help a lot of people. Maybe you solve a problem for many people. Look around you. Everything that you have, everything that is around, everything that's available in the world. One day, one person thought this would make life easier. 
and that person deserves to be rich because he solved a problem. If you want to be rich, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to be rich, then solve a problem that people have. So now I'm going to show you proof that the rich can get into heaven. So David, for example, king of Israel and his son Solomon were very rich and powerful. After King Solomon asks for an understanding of heart in Kings 3, 5, God replies with, I will give you more wisdom and understanding than anyone has ever had before or will ever have again. I will also give you what you have not asked for. All your life you will have wealth and honor more than that of any other king. So David is rich, but God loves him. Do you have any doubt he got into the kingdom of heaven? King Solomon was so rich that all his cups were made of gold. And also, even after losing everything, Job is rewarded with more material wealth than he had previously had because of his faith. If so many blessed men in the Bible were very rich, why do so many interpret it as impossible for a rich man to go to heaven? Here it is. The rich can go to heaven, but not the greedy. God does not condemn anyone for having money, but he warns against boundless greed above all else. But that doesn't mean you can't strive to be successful and have nice things. God doesn't say money is the root of all evil. God says the love of money is the root of all evil. You cannot have two masters. What is your master? God, the universe, yourself, good or money? Don't be a slave to money. Make money your slave. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how. As said, in Timothy 6.10 For the love of money is a root of all sorts of evil and some by longing for it, for it have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Don't let money be your master. You know, money is just paper. It's not the money you want. It's the things you can buy with that money. So don't let money be your master. Timothy 6 offer some divine instructions for the wealthy among us. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds and to be generous and willing to share. Moses reminds us, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Don't become arrogant. Don't think you are better than others because you have more money or more this or more that. No, no, we are all the same in the eyes of God. Cast but a glance at the riches and they are gone, for they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. Don't count on wealth. Be already wealthy here in your heart. Be wealthy in your heart. Believe God wants you to be rich and you will be. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Remember that. For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. So be generous and willing to share. So do you really believe that God wants you to be poor? Ask yourself, how can you help others the best? If tomorrow you have one million, think of the many beautiful things you can do with the money, the many great deeds you can do for others. Do you really think God wants you to be poor, have Nothing? It is an illusion that you have to be for poor to get into heaven. This is the illusion. Does God guide you or are you guided by men? Who are these men? If you don't have to work for a boss anymore, imagine if you have all the time in the world, then if you have the freedom to do whatever you like, then you will truly shine. If you have any questions for me, Ask them in the comment section below.
If you want some money making tips guys, check out the links in the video description. Remember that you choose to do good or to do bad with money. Because of a, a shortage of money, people do bad things. But if people would have enough money, do you think there will would be so many horrors in the world as there are today? Of course, it depends what you focus on. If you focus on the bad, you only see bad. If you focus on the good, you will see a lot of good. But if people would have money, do you think they would steal? Do you think they would still kill for money? Taking a life for paper? I mean, guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Wake up. Share this positive news to anyone that needs it. You know who needs it. You know who needs to hear this. Well, share it with them and watch their life transform when they truly honor God's word. Jesus showed us the way. Love your enemies and thou shalt have none. As written in the Didache. If you don't know what the Didache is, check it out. Maybe that's something for another video. If you want me to make other videos around certain subjects, let me know in the video descriptions. So if you want more videos like this, guys, smash the like button. Let me know in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more money making tips for more passive income in your life for more blessings to reach financial freedom god wants you to be rich he wants you to be rich god bless you all guys have a blessed day have a great life and i wish you all the best take care guys bye bye